I'm going to be applying a lip gloss. This is the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer. And this is going to keep my lips moisturized because my lips tend to get so cracky during the winter. And then next we're going to follow up with the Soap & Glory Make a Wish Upon a Jar Lotion. And this is going to help combat the dryness on my skin. My skin is so heavily dry now because of the winter. Next we're going to go with our primer. This is the Scandinavia the Makeup Primer Spray. I love this because it's really really a primer that does everything it pulls up my pores it also like keeps the oil away from my skin throughout the day and makes my makeup last more longer now we're gonna move on with the brows i'm going with the bh studio pro brow palette and i'm also using the anastasia angled brush and spoolie brush so i always go with this four section right here i never move out of that section and that's what we're gonna do to fill out the brows first thing i always just go with the wax the wax is what i'm gonna use to actually build my brows because of course you guys know I do not have a tail to my brows and then I go with a darker powder to like kind of fill in the tail portion so that it looks like I got something and then I use the rest of the product and push it up against my brows so this kind of mimics fake brows and I'm just gonna brush it in as always i'm gonna go a concealer that is two shades lighter than my skin and i just take my angled brush it's just like a random generic angled brush and i'm going to clean up under that brow so that it looks really really nice most of the time i just tap my fingers where the concealer is and that actually helps blend it out really good now i'm going to take my foundation today i'm going to be using the estee lauder double wear and i'm using the one that it's just like in the compact and the shade is called 5c1 rich chestnut and i'm using the luxie beauty 531 round buffing brush to apply this it came with a sponge but you guys know i'm not gonna use that sponge thing because I am not a sponge person so we're just buffing that in and this foundation is supposed to be full coverage that I know so one day I went to the Estee Lauder counter I asked them to shade match me which I should have done myself um, they actually shade matched me wrong and then I went back did it myself found that I was rich chestnut uh, I think anything chestnut pretty much works with me to get more coverage on my face I'm going with the pure cosmetics it's the pressed mineral makeup and it also has broad spectrum SPF 15 I use the golden dark because it kind of brings warmth to my skin it doesn't actually change the color so much but it kind of like sets my face adds a little bit more coverage so I don't use too much foundation and it also doesn't um, make it look cakey or anything. Now we're going to move on to the eyes. I love applying foundation first, then going with eyes. And I'm going to be using single eyeshadows from Divina Beauty. I will leave the link down below if you're not familiar with that brand. So first shade I'm going to go with is called Truffle. It's just a light like medium brown shade we're gonna take it on this fluffy brush and we're just gonna apply this this is gonna be our transition color and as you guys see this color is really light in the pan but when you put it on that like transition area it kind of darkens up so if you're like darker than me this might not be the best one but on my skin tone it really works so we're just going for something light and beautiful for Valentine's Day nothing too dramatic the next shade I'm gonna be using is called passion that's my favorite shade from them it's like uh, I wouldn't say a dusty rose yeah that's what the color is and we're just gonna buff that starting in the out of V I'm gonna build it up a little bit and then we're gonna move to the inner corners so it has like that gradient effect it is such a beautiful stunning color next I'm gonna be going with makeup geeks my Thai eyeshadow with the dual chrome eyeshadow one of my favorite shades taking just an angled brush on that we are going to spray this baby up so that that pigment is more vibrant we're just going to place that in the center of the lid dab in motions and you guys notice i forgot to use eye primer 
so oh uh, this is one of the steps that i always forget to do i was gonna use an eye primer the primer that i was gonna use would have been the urban decay anti-aging primer but i totally skipped out on that let me see if there's a difference we're gonna apply this on this eye and like i'm just gonna blend it out and not move it up any further And we're gonna apply glitter once I'm done with the eyeliner. So we're gonna take the eyeliner. So we're gonna be applying concealer. I'm just gonna take that concealer and this is the Bare Minerals Complete Coverage Serum Concealer in 10. I always use a concealer that's two or three shades lighter than my skin. Putting that on my mouth, my chin, and my cupid's bow. This is gonna help uh, bring my features forward a little bit. So now we're going to be taking the beauty blender and we're just going to blend the concealer and the skin. Now that we're done blending the concealer, I'm going to take my La Femme, it's a banana powder. Uh, it's kind of similar to the Sasha Buttercup powder, but this is like way cheaper. So taking that on this thing and I'm also going to use the same beauty blender. Just going to dab that on like that and like tap it under, just like set the concealer. And I got it on my hair, of course. <laughs> That happens all the time. And then now we're gonna take glitter. This is a pretty, ugh, just dust it all over me. It's actually loose. Pretty, pretty, like, it's like a cosmetic glitter that I ordered on eBay. You can find this on eBay too as well. Uh, it's cheap and I use it for my tutorials. And I'm using the City, it's the City Sparkle and Shine Glitter Glue. So this is how it looks like. And normally I will just coat my brush with this first and then dab my brush in the glitter. And we're just gonna sparingly apply this glitter all over. And I'm like gonna bring that glitter up a little bit above my crease. And then we're going to apply mascara while the glue like dries a little bit. Now we're pretty much done with that. I'm gonna be applying lashes. I'm using the Lena lashes in Monroe. These are like a Valentine's Day must have. I'm gonna get go ahead and take this brush. It's just sort of like one of my brushes I used to dust off powder and all that whatnot. And we're just gonna gently dust away the excess of the baking powder because I want this look to be so more romantic and natural. Well, this is not technically natural, but we're just gonna apply Spiced, it's another eyeshadow from Divina Cosmetics, and we're gonna take that to the lower lash line. Then I'm gonna go with Mai Tai from Makeup Deep Cosmetics, take that right to the inner corners. Not all the way to the inner corners, but a little bit like to the rest of the lower lash line. That's what I Then I'm also gonna take that Anastasia uh, So Hollywood like highlighter. We're gonna place that in the inner corners to brighten up the eyes. And I'm going with the Marc Jacobs. It's a new like eyeliner. I forgot the name but I will list the name down below it's my favorite eyeliner and this is an earthquake it's so like ugh, it doesn't move anywhere that's what I wanted to say and I'm gonna apply that in my inner rim it's not black but it's a really dark brown and then I'm gonna take the Milani trifecta it's a mascara that I love and we're just gonna apply that to the lower lash line And then I'm taking the Black Radiance Contour Palette in Dark. We're just going with that middle shade and we're just going to contour a little bit, not too dramatic. 
of course in that my case it means dramatic but yeah you guys know what I mean and then we're going to apply a highlighter this is the uh, same Anastasia so Hollywood highlighter we're just gonna splatter this on and then we're gonna take that makeup revolution um, it's a blush powder it's called new rules it's already on my brush it's so pigmented I have to like dust it off and we're just gonna apply it in between the blush and the contour and I'm doing this method because I feel like it actually blends both the highlighter and the contour a little bit better and so pigmented I have to be careful and now we are going to like apply some um, of the pear cosmetics hydrate and mist set this is gonna remove that powdery look that we get when we apply makeup so it makes it look more natural for our lips I'm going with Colourpop's Ellery We're done lining our lips with that I'm taking what taking Urban Decay's uh, lipstick in 714 and here is the 